So hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. There are new Chrome security rules and Google has given websites up to the 1st of November 2024 to fix these issues with their website or should I say one issue with their website. Uh, if they don't, do not if they do not fix these is this issue, their website will be blocked. Now I know this may sound clickbaity, but it's not. This is serious news and there's a link in the description to the Forbes article that you can go ahead and read in its entirety. I'm not going to read through the entire article. I'm just going to read through parts that are of concern to website owners, especially businesses that I work with. And I'll show you how this can be resolved. And honestly, this is an easy fix if you're not an enterprise level business. But if you are an enterprise level business, then you would have to start working on addressing this issue right now. So an announcement by Google Chrome security team has dropped what it can only be described as a security and privacy bombshell for the 3.45 billion users of the Chrome browser. Starting November 1st, the world's most, the world's most used web browser will no longer trust digital certificates. It's issued by Entrust. Now, it must add here, Entrust, um, issues a lot of certificates. And I can tell you out of the over 100 websites that I've looked at, 75% to around 80% use an Entrust certificate. And that's how widely used it is. That's how widely uh, spread this problem is. There's a pretty good chance that your website is using an Entrust certificate. So, and so yeah, it's just, it's widely the world's most used certificate. Uh, however, how widespread are Entrust digital security certificates? Customers include Chase Bank, Dell, Ernest & Young, MasterCard, and Merrill Lynch, not to mention a lot of government agencies. So what Google is about to do, and this was announced on the 27th of June, which flew in the random radar, was that it's going to pull no punches as it justified the decision to revoke transport layer security certificates issued by Entrust and Affirm Trust. Um, yeah, they're kind of the same. Uh, acquired by Entrust in 2016 on the grounds of, in 2016, and they kind of became the same company, on the grounds of prioritizing the security and privacy of Chrome users, stating, we are unwilling to compromise on these values. There is a serious deal, a very serious deal, as these certificate, these certificate authorities act, act as a foundation of the encrypt, encrypted connection that users rely upon between the, their web browsers and the internet. And this just goes to show that nothing is really secure um, there was an incident that I'm not going to go into very, um, a lot of detail right now about it, but a company was purchased by a Chinese business that was trusted by a lot in the U S and that Chinese business abused that trust by hacking its own users after buying the company. So it's very important that you, if you run a business website that you don't have an unnecessary stuff on your site or on the back end of your site because any one of those things can abuse can be exploited um, but in the case of entrust digital certificates it's so widespread and it's so important because without that certificate you're not even going to show up on google now if google bans the certificate or kind of revokes the certificate the, the websites will still appear but i don't think that they will appear on search results um, because they will be seen as being untrustworthy and not secure. Uh, and so if you're, if this is something that you're worried about from an STO standpoint, like I am, well, then you should fix this issue right away. And the way to know, uh, how to fix this issue is to first figure out if you are using an entrust certificate. So to do that, open up your website in a Chrome browser, open up your website in Chrome browser, click where you see this these two intersecting lines, click here, um, then go to connection is secure, click here and scroll down to certificate is valid, click here, and then it opens this box. Now it will show you issue two, common name, Forbes organization, parts of the certificate. Then you go down, it says issued by, so common name, global sign atlas. So this is, um, for Forbes. So Forbes has a certificate by Global Sign Atlas, organization, Global Sign, organizational unit. And so if you see Entrust over here, then you have a problem. And the way to fix this is to uh, contact your, if it's been, if your certificate has been issued or your SSL has been issued by your hosting service, then contact them and ask them to change or update 
uh, your security details. If you have purchased your own SSL, then get in touch with the company from where you have purchased that certificate or that SSL and um, change it to another certificate. Now, this may be easier said than done in, in some cases, but in most cases, this shouldn't take very really long. Uh, and it should be done right away if you if if SEO matters to you because even Mozilla even Mozilla has listed and trust bugs leads to lengthy report in response. So even Mozilla has said, you know, we're gonna take action and this is something that is very serious with interest. Even though interest has said that they have addressed the issue and we're working on addressing it, but it doesn't is that it does not matter if browsers block your website regardless. So you have until November first to fix the issue. Let me know how you got what you guys think of this. Like and subscribe as always, and I will see you in the next video.